That's right. In fact, four sites now being served by National Guard water tanker trucks. This one at Forest Hill High School. The governor activated the guard to step in after a shortage of private contractors. A lot of people still in desperate need for basic water needs. I was at first. I was, I was going down to the river and dipping the water out of the river. Joel Redmond had reached desperate measures just to find flushing water until the city of Byron decided to open a fire hydrant to help Jackson Water customers. What we're going to do is leave this hose out during the daytime for, for as long as it takes for people to come by and get flush water out of this. The latest chapter in the Jackson water crisis is people who depend on the city of Jackson for water have been left high and dry since the big freeze. Wednesday, the National Guard moved in water tanker trucks to four city sites to help give residents at least water for flushing and other basic needs. Did the steps that they were supposed to do, but it takes time to get those steps in place. MEMA Executive Director Stephen McCraney says Jackson did not drag its heels in asking for state help. He says there are requirements before the state can step in to help a city or county dealing with a disaster. The locals have to expend their resources. They do the local proclamations. They say, hey, this is above our capability. Then it gets to the county. The county has to do that. And then they come to the state and said, we're out of resources. We're in a need. So that's when the state emergency operations center actually goes into force. The National Guard now operating those four tanker locations as the city hopes to find an end soon to this Jackson water crisis. These National Guard tankers, one here at Forest Hill High School, the other one's at Provine Callaway High School, and then over at Walton Elementary. The plan is to keep them in place here through 6 p.m. tonight and then pick up business tomorrow again, and then start running from 9 to 6 each day. The plan is to keep them in place and completely filled through Saturday. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16, WAPT News. <laughs>